Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. I'm still waiting for a few others to connect here, and then we'll get started. We have a brief presentation concerning the follow-up from our April 21st community night that we spoke of the summer camp offerings that is going to be embedded learning in a fun fashion that um, takes us a little bit away from the um, difficult year that we had in the multiple formats that we were providing to uh, our students. So we are going to try to prevent any of what the folks in education call the summer slide, which is students losing any more knowledge or what they've learned at this point um, before the start of school next year. So um, what we're gonna do is go brief presentation to show you the summer offerings that are gonna be in camp style, the grade levels that they're being offered to, and then instructions on how to join your youngster up and, um, and then discuss uh, the amount, maximum amount of students in each camp. So it's a first come first serve basis. And um, we will wrap it up with questions at the end. So uh, Ms. Kitchen, could you begin the presentation please? Okay, so the, the camps are gonna run next. Could you go to the next slide, please, Mrs. Kitchen? Thank you. So the, the camps, we're gonna have several camp offerings. There are gonna be some one week camps, two week camps, and then um, there, there are several that are uh, just a few days and then multiple weeks. So the very first offering are one week camps here that you see, they're gonna run July 15th, minimize my window. Uh, July 12th through the 15th, every camp is going to run Monday through Thursday. They are morning sessions, so 9 a.m. until 12 noon. The um, very first camp that we're discussing here are fairy tales and STEM learning. It's creative and it's fun. They'll be doing uh, science, technology, engineering, and math throughout the mornings. And this camp is offered for students in kindergarten through third grade. The second offering here is July the 19th through the 22nd, again, it's Monday through Thursday, a 9 a.m. camp through noon, or uh, through noon, it's grades three through five, and it's a math Olympics, the emphasis on mathematics. The next camp is going to be July 27th through the 29th. This is what our Pennsylvania National Guard, the Y fighter program, this is 11th and 12th grade students only. This is um, a technology, the course that the the um, Pennsylvania National Guard will be running. It's nine through one thirty for those um, mentioned dates. This is an invite only. If your student or your child is interested in this, please let their guidance counselor know. We're going to hand select students. It does take a certain a certain skill set in order to qualify for this program. This. Um, this is great on your resume for students that are entering into college into any type of computer science or information technology major in college. So this is an excellent opportunity for those students and um, any interest in that, you can most certainly send an email to your guidance counselor. Then we move into our two week camps. The very first camp is for kindergarten through third grade students. This is July the 12th through the 22nd. Again, it's a Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to high noon. This is uh, a fun with storybook friends. So this, um, these are all capped at 15. Can I have the next slide, please? So uh, the three week camps, these are some additional ones. These are July, again, July 12th through the 29th, all Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. through high noon. Kindergarten through first grade offerings, we have a trip around the world, the um, Mathematics Olympics, as we mentioned, Writers Workshop slash Drama Club. There's some acting involved with this one. That's through third, third through sixth grade students. Then we have com Creative Computing. This is grades five through eight. Then we have a Physical Fitness or Physical Education course. 
It's fitness for life. This is grades six through 12. And then we have a, a history camp. That's grades nine through 12. Then um, we go over to the other categories. This is another science course. This is the Reading Rocks, K through, tw K through one. Sci uh, sound, waves, and music. This is a music course. Anyone interested in the performing arts? This is grades four only. Um, Ms. Langdon's also running a course, Being Smart With Money, grades three through six. Drop the Beat music course, grades five through eight. We are also beginning an esports program. The esports uh, introduction course here is grades six through 12. Then uh, PA STEM career exploration. So that's grades four through six. These are three weeks. All of these are three week courses. Um, first come, first serve, 15 students in each. That's the cap. Next slide, please. As I just mentioned, all camps are capped out at 15 participants. Every single camp that I've just mentioned is located at our high school. Once you have signed up, we are going to take a look at who is signed up and where the location is. If you do not have the opportunity or the capability of bringing your child to any of the selected camps, then we could provide the necessary transportation to and from the school building on the mentioned weeks. We will be serving breakfast when the students arrive. Then upon dismissal at high noon, students will be receiving a bag lunch to head home from camp. And then uh, we will continue on with the daily entrance ticket as we are today. And for the remainder of the 2020-21 school year, and the, um, the registration link is here below. We're gonna take you to another window to show you how that looks. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So these, are, this is the page that you will see. This is all going to be available tomorrow morning on our website and all of our social media. So we will be, um, this will all be available. You can click this. This is what you're going to see once you click the link. You hit that green register button. Once you hit that, then you can select the camp. Could you hit that green button for me, Ms. Kitchen? So you see the trip around the world, it's gonna give you a description. It'll, it, once you see the courses that you are interested, click the number of students that you want, whether your, your child fits the category of the age limits, then um, you just simply click the button and then go down to the bottom. Miss Kitchen, if you could click the trip around the world and then um, it'll show you that the register button will highlight and it'll see that there's no cost to any of the students in the district, this is all paid for by our federal stimulus funds. This is all um, free of charge to every single family within our district. So um, then it'll take you to, you'll give your parents first and last name, email address, and a confirmation email to be assured that you are um, fully registered and taking up one of those 15 spots. So um, if we can exit back out. Uh, any folks that are on this call concerning any credit recovery or any type of issue where a student needs to make up some credit, whether it be a summer school offering, the guidance counselors, this that's separate from the summer camp offerings. So your guidance counselor will be reaching out to you on an individualized basis, informing you of what your child needs to register for in order to have the credit recovery or any summer school offering. So, um, the credit recovery will be completed in a virtual setting and it will be the same weeks, um, July, the week of July 6th through August the 12th. So um, I know I saw something in the chat here. Right, this is for each camp. The, no, so if it's, if the child is in the, in the current grade right now, because um, if your child's in kindergarten is K through one, that's an excellent question. So, um, it, the current grade. So we wanna make sure that it's age appropriate for where your child is leaving right now so we can enhance their learning at the current level. That's an excellent question though. Thanks, Ron. So at this point, I know I, I, I gave you everything quickly 
So at this point, I would like to open it up to uh, the folks on this call for any clarification, something I may have missed, or, or if there's any um, type of uh, questions that you may have concerning any of these, please uh, let's take this time to do so. Mr. Barrett, we have a question from Marsha Garcia. Hey, Marsha. It's Maria Garcia. Hi, Maria. Hi, um, I'm just a quick question. So Talia goes to the CYC. Mm -hmm. um, be able to pick her up from there and drop her off from there? If uh, I for, uh, the CYC is child care? Yes. Okay, that's an excellent question. Um, so what we'll do is um, I'll have to circle back with you. Let's do this. Um, that's an excellent question. We'll see if we can make this work for you. Could you do me a favor? Could you, um, I'm gonna put my, my information in the chat. Could you possibly co copy that down and then give me a call tomorrow? Yes. Maria? Yes. Because I believe um, if I speak with the CYC, most likely they can drop her off in the morning and then pick her up in the afternoon. Okay. And, and so, that's, that's what I wanted to discuss with you in private. Yeah, if they offer transportation. So um, Yeah, I can speak with them tomorrow about it and then I can call you and let you know. Excellent. Okay. Um, thank you, Maria. You're welcome. So uh, Dr. Pugh has just answered... Um, let me go back to the name so I personalize this. Um, Jessica, oh, oh no, 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 um, oh, Ron asked a secondary question. There are there are offerings for second grade, Ron. Um, the K through 12, there, or K through three, my apologies. So um, there, there, are, um, there are offerings there. Okay, uh, Jessica requested we back, are we back on slide two for Jessica? Yes, we are. Okay. So folks, just as we normally do, this uh, record, we are recording this right now. This will be uploaded to our YouTube page, Hanover Area School District YouTube page. If you missed anything, you remember something after we get off this call, you can most certainly go to the YouTube page, watch this again, or simply wait until tomorrow morning. And um, we will have all of these um, offerings posted to all of our social media and our school district website. So um, I hope this clarifies anything. Yes, so Gigi, yes, that would be the case. If there is any anything that is of a concern, then uh, we will, but we will be in touch as a district. Mr. Barrett, I believe um, Jessica questioned about the three week camps for second grade. That would include all of the K to one, correct? I mean, um, I Dr. Pugh on there is Dr. Pugh. Did here. she see that or no? Yes, so I can see. No, if you would have to go back a slide to see um, where second grade camps are listed, um, it's basically CK to three. There's a one week camp that includes second grade, and there's a two week camp that includes second grade. And once you, once you go ahead. Hi, Ms. Daphne. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm just trying to double check them. Like I said, I mean, you know, my situation and stuff. Um, and I deal with Miss Toff and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so those are all separate, right? Like as far as them getting she might be, Yeah, she might be organizing something else for you. But so if you, regular. yeah, so if you're looking at this, um, this is separate. But you can, why don't you call me tomorrow or email me and we can talk about that. Okay. Okay. Right. Sounds good. Thank you, Miss Anthony. Thank you. All right, folks, so any additional questions, uh, we're most certainly here to clarify and um, drop them in the chat. But if not, then what we'll do is, again, we'll immediately following this, this uh, community meeting right now, 
We're gonna upload to the YouTube page. Anybody missed this meeting, you can refer them there. If not, we will post this. And remember, this is a first come first serve basis. So um, once these fill up to maximum 15, uh, we only have one facilitator teaching the course, so we can't expand beyond that. So um, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope everybody participates and we get something out of this, make the learning fun, uh, camouflage learning within this and um, try to make this a little bit better than the year we have dealt with. So um, I hope this was helpful to everybody. Mr. Barrett, we had one more question from Nicole Orwan. She asked if transportation is provided and yes, it is provided if you need it. Okay, folks. Right now, Mr. Barrett. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. There are no other questions right now. Okay, folks. Well, I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for joining us. And I uh, hope everybody joins up for one. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>